Got the ranger. Hey everyone, welcome back to Walker Farm Fam. Thanks for stopping by. And Ransom, who is this behind us? Lily and her 11 babies. Lily and her 11 babies. Do you remember how long ago it was since we got Lily? A month. One month. So guess what? It is time to separate Lily from her babies because... No! Yes, yes, yes. Because... All the babies are fully feathered, and Lily needs to go be a chicken with the big chickens and lay eggs and do that type of thing. Yeah, and then when Lily lays eggs, I get to keep them. Yep. So, Mazzy, where else are we going to go today? Since it's been one month since the last chicken auction, what's today? Chicken auction. Another chicken auction. So, we're going to go to another chicken auction. So, you guys stick around for that. You know the crazy chicken lady loves chickens. I think she's selling some eggs, and uh, we're going to be doing that. So... You guys stay tuned, see what Cassie gets. So before I start chores, looks like the kids are out here playing a good game of kickball. I didn't touch it. All right, let's see how this goes. Who's up to kick? Me. Major. I got three outs already. You got three outs? Yeah. They have to get two outs, I have to get three. Okay. All right, let's see Mazzy's pitch. Oh, almost ransom. All right, let's see it again, Mazzy. Oh no, went right to her. Get out of here. <laughs> Good job, Mazzy. All right, I, I got to do chores. Shelby, why don't you play with them? All right, Ransom the mechanic's gonna put a new engine in his Ford. I wish all Ford engines were this easy to uh, change out. Why are you putting that Ford engine in there, Ransom? Me and Little Bear. Little Bear, you're gonna drive him around? Uh -huh. He loves it, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. He's dancing right now. One of his favorite things, all time favorite things, is to ride around in the vehicle. So, uh, I'm gonna unload your tools so you don't lose them out, okay? okay. Is that all right? Okay. And whenever you All right, boys. I'll be out there in a second. I'm gonna grab the dog food. Okay. There's your first load, okay? Can we bring it out there? Yeah, you can drive it out to the uh, sheep if you want. All right, Ranger just got Xena fed. And I'm gonna feed the ducks. And of course, Rowdy always likes to grab a little bit of the duck food and the turkey food. There you go, babies. Hey, you guys have your own food. Come on. Come on, sheep. Come on, Tom. All right. Thank you, boys, for your help. I really appreciate it. You are free to go. You want to see if Sue has food, Ranger? Huh? You want to go grab her some? Does she like to be held? Uh... Not really. She kind of digs her claws into you when you hold her. Like, I, I hold her sometimes, but um, she's kind of iffy on it. She likes to be scratched. If you scratch right around her head, she really likes to be scratched. Right around her face. Just real easy. And a lot of times she'll push into you how hard she wants to scratch. She's kind of um, picky about it, but there she goes. She loves that. All the places she can't get herself, she likes you to scratch them. All right, there's some cups down there if you want to grab her some food, okay? So, Ranger's going to do that, and I'm going to get the sheep fed. Hey there, Mr. Uh, Sir Francis Drake. Time's a ticking, not much longer. Sir Francis Drake will be uh, off the farm. Here, come over here, come over here. All right, a lot of times he'll knock that out of your hand. All right, we've got uh, Muffin, Olive, Dot. Oh, look at that. The lambs are getting in there. They're big enough. They're eating out of here now. These lambs are growing so fast. The mamas are doing a good job. Oh, well, hello, girls. Well, if you watched our last video, no pregnancy out of these two, but we still think that uh, this one is pregnant. We think Patsy's going to have a baby. Hey, Patsy. All right, let me see if I can get some feed over there in that feeder for you. All right, go over there and eat. 
One of you sees it, the other ones don't. You better go eat, girls. All right, we'll go ahead and shut that reindeer. Oh, there's Rowdy. Rowdy, go in there and eat with the other sheep. Go in there and eat with the other sheep. Go eat. Go eat. Okay. Now I want the lambs to come out, if they will. And then Wednesday, and Carrie are growing ever so fast. They're looking good, aren't they, Ranger? Uh -huh. All right, we'll let them eat. Zena, down, down. Leave Ranger alone, please. And then I'm gonna come out here and feed the alpacas. They always come up to eat out here. So now that the uh, alpacas are all out here in the pasture, they all have a pile of food they wanna eat. But they, um, I've noticed a few more people stopping at the road and taking pictures, Ranger. I think people like looking at alpacas. That and sometimes the Highland cows, people just stop and take a picture, which we don't mind, as long as they're not um, coming way up our driveway and not telling us about it. So while I'm doing chores, somebody else is playing with a new baby. How is it? Did you get a name yet? I think I might name her Annie. Annie? Yeah. Hang on, let me see Annie. She's got those smoky legs like her mama uh -huh. and a dot right here like her grandma. Isn't that funny that it passed down through generations? Yep, that one little dot. So Annie... We don't have an Annie, do we? No, we don't have an Annie. It's hard to keep up with all the names. So uh, Hazel is doing awesome, but she is uh, worried about her baby. Annie's tinier than any we've had. Look at that face. Oh. <laughs> so cute. So I need to get her some regular hay. I uh, have some alfalfa out, but I need to. Hazel, she's right here. Get some regular hay. Hazel, she's right here. Look. It's like she can't find her. Huh? It's like when I hold her, she just can't find her. Well, she's she's like I don't think she's looking for her when she looks at you. She's looking like for a little what is that a ten inch baby running around? <laughs> she is tiny. She's really little. Look at her. She's kind of shaking. We had three ewes this year. Lamb, lamb ewes. It's all so, ewes. Yep. So no ram lambs. Those two have gotten. Yeah. So this. How how much older are they? At least a month. So about this a month. probably a month and a half. Yeah, two so months. they are about a month older. Look how little she is. And then look at these girls. Look at Wednesday and Carrie. They are doing so well. You guys are some good mamas, Dot and Olive. You're doing awesome raising these babies. So that is a good thing. Babies are doing good. Yes, Rowdy's doing good. People thought Rowdy was going to be so sad without our little yoke friends, but he's doing okay, isn't he? Yeah. He's, he's just happy to have more feed to himself. Yeah. I so, gave her some loose mineral, some mineral water. Rain, clean her water out. She's got alfalfa. We're about to get her some more hay from over there. So All right. we'll put them in here while the babies are little, little. When they're a couple weeks old, then we'll put them back out here. Well, there's your update, little Annie Oakley. I'm going to call her Annie Oakley because right. that adds a little bit of a country flair. And I don't know if you guys know this, but we're country around here. We're just good old country we folks. We were country before country was cool. <laughs> we were country before country. I don't know if country is cool. Is it? it? Seems like everybody wants to be a farmer these days. So we finished all the uh, back chores. So before I go out to the cows, I was going to give you guys a little garden update. Uh, everything is growing. Lettuce is doing great. Radishes are doing okay. Onions are doing awesome. We finished um, our peppers, I think on the last video, and I planted marigolds. Uh, I don't think I've shown this yet, but I planted marigolds in between our squash and also in between our tomato plants. So I need to buy some more. I don't have enough to go between all, all of them, but I started with the outside of the garden working my way in. I'm hoping that will get the pest, keep the pest away. So there's that. Uh, we also planted um, pickling cucumbers. 
So we have three, four hills of pickling cucumbers and four hills of watermelons down here. So that is just all that we have in the garden right now. And then six rows of corn. So it is getting pretty full. I think I'm going to save one row right here for okra. So we'll plant a row of okra at some point to try to do some pickled okra. But you can see the cows out there. Missy and May May, they're not amused. They're ready to eat. So I better get over there and start feeding the cows. Ransom the rider came out here with me. You gonna help me do the chickens? Yeah. What's your guess today? Uh, 30. Huh? 31. 31, I'm gonna guess 26, okay? So Ransom is wearing a helmet today, but he has a six point seatbelt harness and a roll cage, so no, we do not require him to wear a helmet all the time. Now, if we were going on dangerous trails, or something we might, but when he's just riding around here on flat ground, um, I rode a go-kart when I was his age with no helmet, no row cage, no seat belt, and I'm here to tell the story, Ransom. But we do like safety, and I like the safety features the go-kart has, but no, we're not going to make him wear a helmet every single time he rides. Why did you put a helmet on today? Just because you wanted to? Because it's cold. Because it's cold? And if I drive fast... Oh, uh, if you drive fast, your face will freeze. Well, that's the other thing is some days um, it's really hot outside and it would be really, really hot to uh, wear a helmet. All right. Cheek, 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 cheeks. So we love our chickens. We try to give them a little bit of a treat every day. They have no idea what to think of Ransom. But now we're going to see how many eggs we got in this one. Three. How many out of that coop, Ransom? Ten. Ten out of that coop. All right, now we're gonna head over to the other coop. Ransom, you got some fancy boots on today. What are those? Alligator skin? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Where'd you get those fancy boots at? My papa. Papa got them for you? Well, here's the thing about kids' boots. If you don't wear them, you will outgrow them because our kids' feet grow so fast then they're going to not last in, long. I'm already in 13. Size 13? What's that, number 11? Yeah. All right. Like 12. Oh, look over there on the ground. Good job. All right, Ransom finished up. How many? 23. 23. So we got 23 eggs. Cassie already got uh, the American breasts out. She's been um, keeping a close eye on them. So 23 eggs a day. Good job, ladies. That's going to be uh, lots of yummy eggs. Mm -hmm. So I've got some hungry cows behind me, talking to me, wanting me to feed them. So I'm going to take care of that. And then we're going to head to the chicken auction. So we'll catch up with you guys. All right, kids, where are we? Auction. The auction. Mom brought the whole family today. Is Mama truly crazy? Mm -hmm. Yes. 100% crazy? <laughs> yeah, see, even Little Bear says yeah. she's crazy. How are we going to deal with this, guys? We need to get a plan together. If you guys, anybody out there can send some serious help to deal with the crazy chicken lady, we need help. Because today, she brought us all to an auction. So let's go see what this what happens here. But you know what? She's selling stuff today. Oh, great. Eggs. So that means that maybe we'll make some money, okay? Yeah, I get to sell. So not only is today a chicken auction, but they also have some... Uh, regular auction items is what I call it. So I was uh, inclined to come to see how some of this stuff sells today. Oh, that's some bunnies. I got to be hatching eggs now, hatching eggs. Seven eggs up there. They will be hatching eggs. You tell me. Two box three, hundred and three, four, down five, hundred and five, six, hundred and six, and seven, hundred and seven, eight, nine, hundred and 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 nine, 
Ranger gonna get bit. I know. Do you miss having rabbits? I've had rabbits for a long time. Not anymore though. Look at them quail. Some nice chickens. Huh? Can't, he can't be meaner. Where's your bid number? You know you can't buy anything if you don't have a bid number, right? I sold eggs. You sold eggs? How'd they do? Uh, they did all right. Uh, I sold, uh, I think, eight yeah. yoga ducks for five and then six death layers for ten. Okay. Just eggs. Yeah. yeah. That's not bad. No. Half a dozen. Ten dollars. Well, Cassie sold, I think the Indian runner ducks did pretty good. The, yeah, they did. the American breasts, I don't think they're very good. So, but you never know till you bring them. Like those look like purebreds. Tail black there. Combs are. But they're roosters. You're not gonna get eggs out of them. Ransom, what'd you find to eat? Bologna sandwich. Some people from out of the state don't even know what bologna sandwich is. Is it good? They can't believe that somebody would cut up bologna and put it on between two pieces of bread. It's not bad though, is it? Smoked. <laughs> Ransom says he wants this. Let's take a look. Well, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. It's got the whole setup for hens. There's not many wind breaks though. In the winter time, they might get a little chilly, you think? Might be a little cold. I think they made it just to fit on this trailer. They don't have much room on either side. I think you'd have to make one of these, buddy. Eight month old Tom Turkey, right here. So the kids are playing, but the question today is how much is that coop going to bring? So we're wondering, uh, my guess, low end, seven, eight hundred dollars, high end, twelve to fifteen hundred dollars. But how much do you think it'll bring? You know the drill. Leave your guesses down in the comments. I'm curious though. It's something I could build pretty easily. And uh, I'm just curious to see what it brings. All right, Ranger, what's your official guess? I think it's going to go for $1,050. $1,050, Ranger says. So it's it's not treated. And Actually, $800. I think it's going to go for 850 850 so it has nesting boxes, but it doesn't really have any sides, so we'll see what it brings. So Cassie bought something. What did you buy? Two chickens. Why did you buy two chickens? Because... They were calling my name, and when things call my name, I got a, I got a bid. So Cassie didn't bring anything to bring chickens home in. So we borrowed a box from somebody or two. Did that work? Luckily, a guy I went to school with overheard me needing a box, and he saved the day. There you go. Make some holes in them. All right, we got a bigger box. Ransom's going to poke some holes. Keep your hands free, okay? That way they can breathe. And these are the two little chickens that Cassie got. She said they were cheap, and that's why she got them. I'm not really sure that we need them. I actually don't think we do, but Cassie bought them, so we're taking them home.
That's why they call her crazy, huh, Ransom? Good job. <laughs> Yep, takes thousand. Okay. All right. Hang on. Only one Hang on. Cassie waited for a while, Hang got on. paid out. Now it's time to load her chickens up. I bought and still made money. I'll keep thinking. How about you come keep this one in? All right, she got her Sam's Club chickens. Ready to go. All right, we made it home from the chicken auction. Look at that, I'm rich. Cassie made, um, what, how much on the duck eggs? So how did your eggs sell? Uh, not real great, but the thing is, you gotta have people there wanting those eggs. American Breast sold $2 a dozen, which I know some of you are gonna be like, what? Because I got an email that someone went to an auction, they were selling $7 an egg. But the turkey egg sold uh, seven of them for $11 and a dozen of in and runner ducks for $9. So I'll take it. There you go. Just a little bit of everything. I, I pretty much got chickens for free because I still came home with some money and I didn't give nothing for them. There you go. There's Cassie's chicken math. Chickens for free. But they are not going to go in our big um, coops out front even though they're big enough too. Yeah, I don't know who they came from. I didn't know the seller. Look healthy. Should be healthy, but... You just never know. So the reason you separate chickens, go ahead, Ransom. The reason you separate, I got it. The um, chickens is because if they did have some type of disease and you put them in with your big um, flock, you could wipe out your whole entire flock. So they're going to be staying by themselves for um, a uh, probably three weeks at least or four, and then if they're all healthy and good after that, then we'll uh, move them over. They also could stand to grow a little bit. They could potentially. Now I'm not real sure how old they are. They could potentially get picked on or something. Two roosters. Oh, there's hole there for them. Would that be your luck, Cassie? Have two roosters? Yeah. <laughs> I'll take them back to the next auction. Yeah, from those uh, puppies we housed here, they tried crawling out. So they're gonna get a feeder in here. They're gonna get water. And there's two of them, so that's good. They get to hang out together at least. So Cassie, do you have any idea on the breed? I know somebody's going to be asking. Uh, the guy said one side was olive eggers and one side were Easter eggers, but he wasn't real sure which. So Cassie said they should have colored eggs, and I told her every chicken lays colored eggs. <laughs> some are white, some are brown, some are blue, some are green, but they're all colored. Anyway, we've got water. Uh, we're going to clean up a little bit of the old um, stuff in here and get some feed. So they will be set up. All right, Cassie. You were going to be the volunteer to get her? I guess so. No one else did. Well, Cassie said it's time to move her. Cassie wants her eggs so she can have more eggs. Well, I'm hoping she'll uh, set on her eggs. Oh, you want her to be broody again? Yeah. So uh, these uh, chicks are, like I said, getting big. And Cassie is... Oh, oh so close. Easy and I didn't go fast enough. You went with the one hand instead of the two hand. That's kind of a rookie mistake, Cassie. That ranger. Ranger. Net. Oh, you got it? I was say, if you didn't catch it, it looked like Mr. Jingles was. Well, that turned into... More exciting than I thought. Hey, a poop on my face. No poop. I just got flogged in the face. This ain't, this okay. ain't gonna work. No, let's go get an actual um, pet taxi. So that worked great the first time, but it's not gonna work this time for these this chicken. Now I gotta get her out again. Well, unless you can transfer her over without getting her out. I'll do it. Yes, that's not going to work. 
That's better. Ransom, come catch these chicks. Okay, so Lily is now on her way to the big coop. Tonight she's going to get put in there. In the middle of the night, she will uh, be moved or once it's dark. So Ransom is now catching the Lily's 11. And uh, you want a regular box, a regular cat taxi, or that work? That's fine. All right. So there are some advantages to being small enough to fit inside this chicken tractor. I could fit in there. You could fit? Yeah. I don't know. Balled up. Might be a little tight. I know I couldn't. Ransom, how much did those 10 babies grow? This is the 11th one. A lot. So Ranger's got name number 11. We haven't had any names yet because we really don't know whether they're hens or roosters. Well, the one that scratched me, I think it's a rooster. The one that scratched you, you think it's yeah, a rooster? It, it was the biggest one. And so, uh, of course, we always hope for more hens because that's what we like. But you just never know. So... I'm hoping that Ransom can take them back to the same auction because those type of birds sell really good there and he can sell pears or trios or something. I bet you'll be able to. That auction uh, has a lot of buyers for these types of birds. All right, welcome home, little guys. Ransom, turn it sideways and let him just run out. Oh, dead. It's okay. Just look. Just like Bubba said, they can just run out if you want them to. Yeah, just lay it on the side. He's putting his in. Dad, close it. Okay, I'm going to close it. Gonna do that. But they're, they're just chilling right now. As long as those waters are level, they'll, they'll get in there. They're used to drinking out of that. All right, now all they need to do is grow, Ransom. You didn't take that box out. Watch out, babies, I'm gonna shut the gate. You gonna stay in there with them for a little bit? Yeah. All right, Cassie's gonna be bringing a feeder in here. Holds a little more, a little bigger feeder. You think Ransom on the ground? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think on the ground would be just That's fine. a good feeder because it doesn't hardly waste any feed at all. Well, I got two of them, but I thought we'd start with that one. Yeah. No more than is in here. That should be good. So, Lily's 11 chicks are settled in. Lily's headed to the big coop. Life goes on. I know some people thought we should leave them with her, but she really needs to go back and be a chicken. Uh, now that her job is over. She's done everything she needs to do, right, Ransom? It's not like she's... Uh nursing them no yeah people <laughs> i've had a couple comments people worried about her but this is the cycle of motherhood one day cassie's gonna have to let her uh little chicklets go and uh let them spread their wings and fly and that's what lily's doing today so at the chicken auction there's a lot of chickens flying a lot of chickens flying yeah. <laughs> there was a lot of chickens flying at the chicken auction so so that was fun cassie what do you think? You happy with your chickens? Yeah, I mean, they were only $4 a piece, so I said, hey, they need to go home with me. And I? And they, when they speak to me, they speak to me. That's why I'm a broke chicken farmer. Well, that's all we have for today, but we do want to thank you guys so much for um, spending some time with our family. We hope you have a great day, and God bless. We love you guys.